हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल द टॉपिक फॉर दिस वीडियो इज स्टोरिंग वेब एलिमेंट्स आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ क्लास नेम एज स्टोरिंग वेब एलिमेंट एंड इन दिस क्लास देर आर टू मेथड वन इज द इनिट मेथड एंड अनदर वन इज द स्टोरिंग वेब एलिमेंट मेथड वेब वेब ड्राइवर आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिक्लेयर ग्लोबली सो लेट्स के स्टार्ट द वे हाउ वी कैन स्टोर द वेब एलिमेंट्स सो हियर जनरली वॉट वी डू वी डू ड्राइवर डॉट फाइंड एलिमेंट्स सो आई वॉन्ट टू शो आई वॉन्ट टू मैंशन ओवर हियर दैट This driver dot find element is returning us web element. So let's start. Uh, let's select this, and then we have to use by dot x path. And uh, this x path is returning us by class. So let's select this one. And here, what we need to write down, we have to write down the x path of the particular web element. So uh, this is our usual syntax. The first part of this. Uh, is returning us web element and the second part is returning us the x path so by using web element and by using by class these are two methods for storing the web elements here let's start uh, let's let's write a uh, first write down the uh, uh, the x path for the username as i will use the website i have given over here the login website for the w3 school let's do control shift c and uh, we can find out the x path for username let's copy this copy the x path from here and we can write down, put that x path here and let's uh, copy this through more time and what i want to do uh, in the second one i want to take the x path for the password field copy <coughs> copy x path and uh, write down it here and another one is the login field let's copy the login with the uh, x path for the login field copy this and paste it over here yes uh so these are our uh, field that we need to use for the uh, login uh, username password and login so uh, let's do one thing that uh, first method storing web element storing web elements by using by class by class so let's do uh, let's use username field the naming convention for the by class that we can give is username field basically we use the word field uh, when we be using by class we need to use the uh, name field that is a, a standard naming convention for uh, storing the web element by using by class so this will be equals to whatever the x path we have given here this much this much will be for the username field and we can put the semicolon here and after that after this username fill we just what we need to do before is by so this is the um, this is how we can store username uh, field by using the by class and now another thing that what we need to do is the password field we need to do so we can change it to password and for the password field uh, the x path is this one so let's copy this here right and the another one is will be the login field so let's change it to the login field and the uh, the x path for the login field is this one up we need to take up to okay here so let's copy paste it here so this is our uh let me check one more time if it is right or yeah this is right so i have written the login field here for the by class another way to store is what we want mm, enter the web element so for web element what naming convention we will use we will use user name element equals to what is the user name element we will be using this whole code we can write here and before the username we have to write down web element that's how we can store it and we need to import it from the 
selenium let's import it and the error says gone and uh, after that what we need to do is the password element and the let's copy this here this is our password element and what else we need we need the login element yes login element and the xpath we need to change from here to here for the password and again what we need to do is let's change this one yes so we have changed we are done this is our um, storing of web element by using by class and this is our storing of web element by using web element let's write down here elements element and so here i have shown two ways of uh, uh, writing the uh, two ways of storing the web elements first one is by class and second one is the web elements now what we need to do is now we need to perform the action another thing one and one more another thing one more thing that we we can mention over here is that instead of using this by dot x path over here or i can show in this example uh, here what we can use is we can just use user field instead of this one we just simply can write down the username field or this this password field from here to here we can copy that will be easy going for that so we just simply need to paste it here so that this much this much code we can write down in our web uh, web uh, element storing uh, where we are using this uh, this uh, variable that we have created for the by class uh, to our web element field so this is the way how we can use uh, these how can we uh, simplify our coding over there after that what we need to do is we need to perform the action action so let's do for by using uh, that action we will perform directly on our username element we do not need to use this username field or if we will replace our coding from here this username field automatically will come under username element so let's perform our action action on username it will give us the options to select which one we want to perform let's select username element and once we select it we can do dot we can find the send keys send keys and here we can uh, in the send keys we can give whatever email we want let's say abc at rate uh, abc at rate uh, gmail.com com and then semicolon and again we need password field uh, password element so password it will be giving us option password element dot send keys again we want and here we can do a b c 1 2 3 and then semicolon and then again we need login for that also we will be getting some option so here what action we need to do we need to click so let's use the click method over here so that's how we have done our coding let's save this coding and execute it and let's see if we have stored our web element accurately or not so this should uh, the, our web web uh, driver has taken us for the the accurate website that we the URL we have given over there. Next thing is that it should have enter the email and the password that we have given. Okay, it's not taking. It's it's showing failure. So what we need to do is let's comment this out. That is the only reason that it's not working. Just close it and uh, now save it and execute it because this is the extra code that we do not uh, really need here. And uh, what we need to do is run as test ng. okay let's see what's the reason is why it's not feeling what is why it's not sending the keys over there let's check it here 
okay it's showing failure again what's the reason we can check our exception uh, invalid selectors exception invalid selector unable to locate an element uh, with the xpath okay password because of because of the following error the fail execution invalid to the document this current password is not okay okay the xpath expression that i have given maybe that one is the wrong one for the password okay okay we have copied it here so it has taken it wrong way multiple times for the password and the root and everything okay so let's uh, copy that one more time once again the xpath expression that we have given is wrong for that so for the password what we need to do is just copy the xpath <coughs> and paste it here the password field oh yes that was wrong so let's paste it again over here and then what need we need we need to copy the xpath for login button and paste it here because we have just i have just pasted it wrong over there okay so now it is also looking better yes i think no other exception will be there let's save it and we can execute it now run as test ng so our browser get launched let's see yes this time it has filled the uh, username and password and has clicked our login button so this uh, this uh, a test must pass over there so you see there is no failure and the our test is passed over there so this is the way how we can store the web element and we can execute it but uh, here as i have shown by using username element we can find the send keys method but if we use username username field username field then if we click dot and we try to find out send keys we cannot find the send keys because that is not the web element this web uh, this field this variable we can use inside a web element uh, that is username element here we can use we can replace that uh, we can replace this code by using this username field variable but we cannot find the send uh, send keys method after this username field by using the by class so i hope um, you would like this video and i try to make it as simple as possible thank you guys thank you very much for watching please do like share and subscribe